All right. Hello, everybody. So we are back with uh, Legend of Dragoon. Uh, this again was a, a Patreon request by Patreon uh, Squirrel Token. Uh, it's, it's also a, a uh, old favorite of mine, so no, no sweat off mine to play it. Um, oh man, this the menu music is right. Um, this is a the second stream of this, so if you didn't watch the first, it's up on YouTube. Uh, I guess I can also say if you uh, want to support more of these sorts of streams, either this or cards or Aria or anything like that, uh, you know, if you if you feel like it, that, that's what the Patreon is for. patreoncom slash There we go. I did it. Um, so yeah. Uh, last time, for those who did miss it, last time we met our, our hero, Dart, who his hometown burned down tragically, and then went back to his second home down, which, hometown, which was also burning down tragically. Um, we saved childhood friend Shana from a prison, and found Lavitz, uh, a soldier of the, the Good Guy Empire, uh, helping us break out. And now we're heading back to the Good Guy's Emperor, the Good Guy Empire hometown yeah so this is this is legend of dragoon let me get into a fight and show off what a fight looks like this game is is, is fairly basic um i joked about it the last time not having a, a ton of mechanics going on to it um it has one mechanic and it really likes it so this is the main mechanic is it has timed hits <laughs> volcano! <laughs> volcano! <laughs> ah I've missed this volcano how sound by the way the game should be loud enough to hear, but not overpowering me, because the, the attack, you know. Intent. Cool. Anyway, let's head to, to uh, Indez Castle in Capital Bale. Got a coach. Hey. Yo. How are you doing, Vipres? Ah, just fine. <laughs> Wanted to see you do more of this. Uh, <laughs> I realized that... uh. God. I realize that time constraints are very important, but at right. the same time, you're doing this again. How loud are you compared to everybody else? Too loud? Not sure. Well, we'll, we'll, this we will have to decide. Vipris is loud. That is adjustable. Huh. That, that is why uh, it is cool that Discord has the ability to do this. I can just go ahead and bring you down to like... I'm going to put you at 50% and see how that sounds. Yeah, that should be fine. Audio balance was really good last time. All right, yeah. I figured. Well, I figured that you were gonna be loud when you joined because this setup is the setup I'm using for this. My audio setup is my La Milana setup, which has the game and anybody else that's joining me like pumped really high, but nobody else joins <laughs> me on them. So that's the whole point. They're, they're solo streams. So I don't worry about that. Ah, I understand. All right. Well, anyway, we're in capital. We're gonna meet people. Huh, I guess this wasn't the town that I was thinking of. I was thinking of the other brown town. <laughs> this game has a lot of brown towns, and I try to... It's yeah. hard to keep track of them sometimes. The town that sticks out in my mind is the one that has, like, the, the bazaar, and, like, you can buy... There's a bunch of items that are really expensive there. It's on the... It's on the west side of... It's on the west coast, though, so... This is west the... Side. This is the Good Kingdom. I'm gonna be honest, I don't actually remember the name of the two kingdoms. I just know that there's the evil kingdom and the good kingdom. Yeah, I got nothing under. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Portraitist. You know, of all the, of all the streams I've done recently, I've heard the most people asking me to keep doing Legend of Dragoon, so. <laughs> I mean, it speaks for itself, doesn't it? It really does. Lavitz Slambert. <laughs> Lavitz motherfucking Slambert, man. Cool. 
Acquired a portrait of Lavitz. I can't stop thinking about how much Lavitz looks like Vanilla Ice, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hair. It's the fucking hair. I think that's what sells it the most. I also really love that, uh, so Lavitz and, and, uh, Dart have known each other for all of half a day or a day, and they're just, like, best buds who are just constantly ribbing each other now. They their blood rose, they saved each other's asses, like, several times within the span of, I don't know, two minutes. Yeah. Alright. There's a chessboard and some glasses. The person on the right will win, looking at this chessboard that currently contains three pieces. It looks like two kings and a bishop. Well, good good job. You figured out who was going to win. Yeah, as it turns out, Dart was an esteemed chess master before his first village burned down, and then he went on a... Part of the reason why he went on his journey was to hone his skills a bit more, but by the time his second village burned down, that all went straight out of the window. Yeah. Um... Hmm. You know, I would figure there'd be something back here. But no, I'm just in the garbage pit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a lot of PlayStation games of this era did stuff like that because the it was because the uh, pre-rendered backgrounds, it's it's really hard to get a good sense of perspective yeah. when you're moving 3D models around like bits and pieces of it, so it's kind of hard to figure out where you are, whether or not that's a thing that you yep. can go into and check. Yeah. You know, that is true. Dart figured out looking at that board if, if checkmate is possible with king plus bishop versus king in the like 50 moves that you have, you know, or 30 moves that you have before stalemate is called. So, you know, if you can, if you know that, that's, you know, that, that is like good chess knowledge. Good on you, Dark. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Deep Red is the new Deep Blue in this world. <laughs> uh, we have a uh, drunkard blocking this way. Okay. Can't calmly breeze past him. That would be against the rules. Uh, I missed the other Dragoon Day. Is Dart burning these towns down himself? Well, we saw in the past, we saw a flashback in the first stream that Dart's first home village was burned down by the Black Monster, who's just this, like, <laughs> presence, like, this evil presence that, like, is a legend that just shows up and burns down villages. Um, his second hometown was burned down by the Evil Empire, who wanted to kidnap Shana. Uh, his childhood friend, who, you know. Wait. Wow. Okay. Talking to... Talking to the bartender. It's not bartender, it's master of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, if you had your own bar, wouldn't you want to bill yourself that way, too? Uh, do we want to pay 100 gold for a drink? I think you're... I, I think you're, uh... You're yanking me here. A hundred gold for a drink? No way. Uh, you still smell like adventurer. Yeah. Dole! That's the name of the other empire. Dole. The bananas. The war! The war! <laughs> oh. There's a save point, and this is an inn. Well, we smell like adventure, but, like, Lavitz is known in town. Come on, like... Yeah, and guess who you don't see in the building with you right now? <laughs> Lavitz just <laughs> leaves It's the price time. you pay for having a battle system where the rest of the characters just meld into the main character's body instead of marching around beside him. So, uh, on the... The, the map for the town here. We have a yellow icon, that's the inn. Then we have a blue icon, and this one is the shop. Oh, they do color code it. Yeah, that's kind of nice, actually. Woman of item shop. All right. 
right, let's see what we have, if there's anything I actually want here. I don't think so. I'm almost maxed out of, of items here, 25 of 32. <laughs> that never goes up, by the way. Yeah, I noticed that your inventory's a little, uh... Oop. It's, it's going to be cluttered for a while to come. Skeleton. How much for the skeleton? What What, what, what is a skeleton doing in an item shop? Like, what are you doing in an item shop? Maybe he's just taking a load off. Yeah, that's fair. Like, shouldn't you be over in the end then? There's a, I'm sure there's a good room over there. Anyway. Hey, man. Any wall's a good wall. That's yeah, true. Skeleton, skeleton of item shop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like skeleton of item shop a lot. <laughs> See, I'm just heading around town and talking to everybody. Basically, the, the quick of it is uh, a lot of people are dying in the war. As you do. And the war's been going on for some time. It's hard to tell how long it's gone on because they speak about the uh, breaking the truce as if it was recently. Yeah, they say breaking breaking the truce, but then another person in town is like, it's been war for 20 years. And it's like, okay. So maybe it was like a temporary truce on the war? It, it, that doesn't sound like a truce so much as it is a uh, promise of less aggression. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, it's also like a civil war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. No, no, say your first line. No! Damn it. There we go. Come on, here is some good stuff. <laughs> I'll take you to a good place. And give me the good stuff. I can't get the good stuff anymore. Yeah, armstice. That's a good word for it. All right, so blue is also uh, the weapon shop. Uh, you know, it's so all, all blue is weapon or item or yes. generally thing you can buy. Okay, I finally found a stardust. Ooh. So, a Stardust... I don't think it shows up in my items. Am I being goods? No, it's not even in goods. I am not good with spears. Too bad I don't know anyone who is. Yep. But yeah, so, um... Stardust is the... is like a lens. Or, um... A nothing be another like if 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 uh, either early tales games or blue dragon is familiar to you it's a collectible that is like it, it, you see you grab it just by like interacting with random objects mhm mm um i'm almost thinking rosary bead from okami too yeah I, like anyway you 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 find them just by interacting with little th they're not like in chests or any anything visible you just have to like press x to interact with things on the wall and you find a stardust there's 50 well, let's say 50 i'm sure somebody will correct me if i'm wrong but there's 50 stardust in the game and if you if you collect all the stardust that it unlocks a secret boss mm -hmm. yep someone said 50 yeah it, you fight a secret boss that's complete BS. Yes, Faust is, uh... I'm pretty sure that one's Faust. Ooh, I can buy some new we <laughs> new weaponry. It... <laughs> I mean, I only know one Faust, and... You know what? I, I think it'd be best if you just let me believe that it is that Faust. Dart is armed. Like, okay, when I buy an item, it's ba I, I buy Bastard Sword. Are you sure you want to buy? Yes. Do you want to be armed with it? Dart his arm. <laughs> Shauna is arm. Allegedly. Right, I think uh, let's buy a salad. Um... I guess Shauna's thing is that in place of 
the battle system, she's just allowed to uh, just hit ranged enemies, and that's it. Sort of. I don't know. I'm buying night shields for everybody as well. Uh, no, this game does not use tank controls. Like, it's, if I hold, like, I, here, let me, I can just, like, it's left goes left, right goes right, but it's relative to the camera, so sometimes when you enter a door and you're holding up, the camera will rotate and you'll just be holding up again and go straight through the door. So. Eh, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and ostensibly we're in town to go talk to the king, but I'm gonna do everything else first, hopefully. Uh, I'm running into the wall because the the controller I have is the sensitivity on it. You see me sometimes going through menus a lot because it like it goes up without me touching it in neutral sometimes. Is this the beginning of the game, give or take? I missed the start, don't know the context. Uh, this is about two to three hours into the game. The quick contest context is... Uh, Dart is an adventurer who is returning home. Hometown burned down. Went to save a childhood friend from prison who was kidnapped from the burning downtown and met a soldier of this... of the... a knight of the Empire, the good guys. And we're now in the good guys' empire to figure out how to beat the bad guys' empire. That's... that's it. There, there are proper nouns that go along with everything, but, uh... I don't There's know. also a dude in a cloak who's running around going, everything is according to my yeah, plan. Yeah, true. Ah, ha, ha, we, ha. we lose, and then... Yeah, Sir Levitz. Everyone, everyone's really happy that Sir Levitz is back. Sir Levitz is a, definitely a famous knight. I'm trying to think of games where you pick up a knight who is from the town that you visit, but he's just some, like, podunk asshole that nobody knows, really. <laughs> just some fucking guy. Played up his role, but he was really just sort of like a patrolman. Is this Lavis's house? I don't... Let me go upstairs. This might be... Yeah, you mean, you mean Steiner? Ouch. Ooh. Ooh. I'd like to think that Steiner had a bit more decorum than that. Yeah. Um. Okay. The former King yeah, Carlo I... must be happy to hear that from under the daisies. <laughs> if that's one way of being tactful, I guess. Yep. Welcome back from the hell of the total destruction of the knighthood. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in love. I'm in love. This game rules. <laughs> it's, it's so dumb in so many areas in such a beautiful way. Yeah. I... Oh, okay, so I can go down here and I think there's another treasure. Finally hell knighthood. <laughs> yeah, let's grab... Okay, so we got this here. Is this going to be something active ring? Hold on. Check that out. Avoids dispiriting. Eh, I'd rather have the defense. That's fine. Dispiriting. Yes, dispiriting. Yeah, that's a status ailment, all right. Normally, this is where you, the person who purchased the game, would look that up in the manual. Because this um, is, again, back in the days when manuals existed, so... I don't know if the manual would, manual would help me with this game in mind. Eh, but anyway, so this is, this is the... Yeah, this is, this is uh, King Albert. Hmm? Look at that dude in the background, on the back right. That's a person with the title of, like, Vizier, right? Wait, isn't that the dude? <laughs> Minister Noish. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm waiting for that dude to be called a vizier because then we know that he's the traitor. Noish. What in Helena? Uh. <laughs> they uh, they sure do like to run that one by you a lot. Yep. Oh, <laughs> Vizier Knife and Back, you are so funny. <laughs> Vizier Knife and Back. And Dart wants to just kind of drop Shanna here, and Shanna's like, are you serious? This, you're a damn moron. Like, don't be condescending, asshole. Uh, no, the battle system's basically just the same as it's always been. Imperial Sandora obtained the force called the Dragon. Mm. So, I don't know, maybe they are talking about the dragon as if it's like a mystical force and also the creature, the dragon. Yeah, uh, we're getting mixed messages, re really, so, yeah, who knows. Filled with all the legends and history of the continent of Endinus. Oh fuck! Is this a? <laughs> so we're gonna learn about. I think we're gonna learn more about the the the, the black monster that attacked the town of Neat, which was Dart's hometown uh, when when Dart was five. You were a victim of the devil. <laughs> Same. <laughs> black monster is called the devil that disobeyed the great existence and it is also known for devouring the god <laughs> uh god in, in in quotes there do you have maybe one word that could describe this being like uh i don't know a name perhaps the devil the devil also the devil the devil yes. Also, it it started appearing 11,000 years ago, which, which was the time the Dragon Campaign ended. They have records from 11,000 years ago. Hey, so did Xenogears. Do we? Like, <laughs> like, this Maybe. Is like, this is like... Oh, here we get a, a cutscene. I wonder if this is going to be audio balance. As if they were gods. Winglies ruled over all living creatures and used them as slaves. The enslaved suffered a terrible domination and injustice. <laughs> Their anger turned to a flame of fury. Then a gust of wind blew throughout the land. Oh my god, the yes, Winglies, fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. The wind was Emperor Diaz. Seven incarnations of dragons served the Emperor. Their bravery inspired people to take up arms. Thus began the Dragon Campaign. It was a harsh war. Both people and Winglies suffered countless injuries and fatalities. After a long period of suffering, it was the humans who acquired the future. The age of humans had begun. Sorry, there's no subtitles there, so... It's, it's over now. But yeah. Uh, I was actually waiting for the subtitles. There's and none. There's, there's none. The, this, game wow. doesn't, this game doesn't have subtitles over its cutscenes, and also the cutscenes are properly balanced, improperly balanced, so the audio in the background is too loud. So there's nothing I can do about that. 
<laughs> anyway. Is there a game that actually has proper audio balancing? Um, there's games that let you balance your audio yourself. Anyway, the quick of that is uh, 11,000 years ago. Also, that whole image thing was just goddamn hilarious looking, but... <laughs> Yeah. Um, Eleven thousand years ago, the Winglies were like, hey, the Winglies, Winglies, were like, hey, uh, we rule the world now, and that's you, you're like all our slaves, and uh, the the emperor of humankind, emperor, I think it was Emperor Diaz. Actually, no, Emperor Diaz might have been the Wingly Emperor. I'm trying to remember now. Anyway, I think Emperor, no, Emperor Diaz was probably. Better. I'll have to remember this for a bit. Anyway, they got the power of the seven dragoons and seven dragon spirits and fought back. So. Yeah, Diaz is the emperor. Okay, Diaz is the emperor of the humans. Sorry, I thought that was Zeg, Zeg, but that's a different character. So, did the Winglies decide to be an overbearing uh, master race specifically so that they could force other races to stop laughing at their name? Yes. <laughs> Maybe there's a moratorium on explicitly religious stuff for localization? Not in this game. Oh boy, this game gets very explicitly like that. Like the longer it goes on, uh, it's just yeah. We saw God and Devil quite a few times yeah. just now. Yeah, we've already seen that, so it's it's just silly. Also, I don't know how hard um, Western branches of a uh, Sony and other companies really cared about that sort of stuff versus just Nintendo in particular. Mm. I mean, Square moved over to Sony, like, one of the big reasons, besides just the graphical constraints, was also so that they could get to do all of this shit without having to, like, exercise caution. Get to have their, like, uh, M-rated or uh, teen-rated game <laughs> with all sorts of deep bullshit. Yeah, this, uh, we won't get far enough into this game, uh, like, either today. It is actually going to be a while until we get to, like, the, like, religious significance. But this game, uh, definitely, definitely has that sort of thing going on. Wow, uh, you can see Dart's, like, leg and right hand just, like, twitching. <laughs> yeah, you can see the right hand just sort of, like, boop. Okay, well, we're going to rebuild the second hometown. That's nice. <sighs> so, we have to go to Hoax, or Lavitz is going to Hoax to try to hold the line. Hold the line. Uh, against a dragon. Oh, okay. So, like, just a border town, key strategic position, etc. Yeah. The village of hoax. I'm surprised that uh, I'm surprised that the hoax front didn't hold. Yeah, weird. it's shocking, really. Kerning is really good in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I almost line break lost my hometown again. Oh, the bird stopped. And then the, the, the attempting to be the, the, like, epic moment music starts playing as we decide to. Oh, where they're making, like, this big dramatic decision. Yeah, because we're going to go. <laughs> there are item shops, weapon shops, at my home. Please meet my mother. She will be happy because she hasn't had a guest for a while. All right, let's, let's do that. Oh, right, because I guess Levitz has a big enough station to be, like, a lord and have a big house. I told you, this game's audio balancing is not perfect. Hey, King, how you doing? <laughs> Mother of Item Shop. 
I guess when people start talking about like how the audio balancing is bad and it feels like every single game that I come across that has all these stupid quirks like this, everyone's always talking about how like the audio balance is out of whack. So I was just in King Elbert's room, and King Elbert's room has a slide. <laughs> <laughs> Albert's pretty good. I like King Albert. I like King Albert and Lavitz. Those are, I think, my my two favorites of the of the characters we've met. We haven't met the character. Like, we'll, we'll continue to meet characters. The king definitely uses that every morning, hundred and ten percent. Yeah, I I would say that this is the emergency escape slide specifically because uh, personal pride is secondary to efficiency, apparently. <laughs> That man's over there on the slide having fun. That must be the king. Shoot him. Oh, hey. It's a a small child wearing a bucket and wielding a mop. I think this is a Fire Emblem character. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. I think he's a three-star character over in Fire Emblem Heroes. Yeah, I'm, I'm certain of that. All right. So this is another yellow area. This is the clinic uh, that can heal status conditions. And yes, like, healing status conditions is a thing. Oh, good, Donald? it's this kind. I think Donald was the name of the Fire Emblem character I'm thinking of. Mm, yeah, I think so. Also, uh, I was a little bit confused as to why they separated status conditions from just plain healing from ends, and then I'm like, oh, that's why. Hmm. So here's so here's the uh, the healing treatment place. So I'm I'm gonna show this off. Be treated. You are cured. <laughs> that that that's that's it. That's that's the healing rays of the of the clinic. I will cure you. Also, people in this game are very much like, hey, you can't be in here, but nobody stops you. Yeah, church revivals are are an old standby in, like, RPGs, so, like... Yeah, but it was just it. death, and death was a big deal, by definition, as opposed to just, like, here at this clinic, we treat these types of status ailments. Yeah. What do you mean that's not the one that you suffered from the dungeon away? <laughs> My wounds are healed, but I am now blind. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Magical power. With their magical power, the Wingies ruled the world. Today, that kind of power is unknown. <clears throat> How to be a knight. Power without rationality is the same as a naked sword. The good sword requires a matching sheet. Thanks. Thanks, folks. Consider, there is no such thing as a sword. I like naked sword. That's a... <laughs> dragon. There once were dragons in the world. They are extinct now and we cannot see them. That's the entire book. <laughs> Winglies. There was once a winged species living on the continent of Endemis, this time with only one S instead of two. Legend says that they once ruled the world. No, seriously, the first time we saw that continent name, it had two S's. <laughs> <laughs> Why do all these books only have one page? We're just reading the back. We're reading the back blurb. Okay, and why did the back blurb have to worry about kerning and uh, computer constraints and spacing? Well, look, they, they only have so much there. <laughs> so dragons are now extinct and invisible, yes. <laughs> Geography of the continent of Endenus. Endenus is a peninsula shaped to continent between the Sea of Fortos and Sea of Alican Coral. Oh, and this person 
tells us about the star house. But here, we have a... Dog? Rabbit? What is this? Bow wow. It's going bow wow at us. But it looks like a rabbit to me. There's no actual books here. There's just the, the jackets. <laughs> yeah, they just shove pieces of cardboard and stuff underneath it to make it look like it's actually thick. This person is going to eat a book. <laughs> Every JRPG protagonist just had to stand and produces a summary of the second most interesting book on any given shelf. <laughs> <laughs> second most interesting. Star Platinum reading over Jotaro's shoulder dot gif. Good place to meet people. This statue right here. It sure is. Alright, let's let's keep going. I wanna I wanna find Lavitz's house. I think it's on the east side of town. I like that dragons are just extinct and invisible. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Lavitz's father, Servi, was a man of too much integrity. If he had recovered from the betrayal of a dear friend, he wouldn't be dead. <laughs> <laughs> they say, ah, this is Slambert Plaza. <laughs> Welcome to Slambert Plaza. Ooh, there's a stardust in the well. That's good. This is a town full of people who would name things exactly the way I would name them if given the proper tools. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Slambert House, you say? Well, I think I'll just yeah. go wild with that. Yeah. The Lance of Slambert. <laughs> Forged on the anvil of Jambert. <laughs> yeah, so, again, more people tell us about Stardust. It's in the world. It said if you get all of it, a wish can be granted, or healing properties or something like that. I think what it is is you, like, find it all, give it to a person, and they're just like, thanks for giving me the Dragon Balls, asshole. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that's basically it. There. Here's Lavitz's house. Hmm. I wonder if that uh, family moved in. What the Jamberts are those? Are those the neighbors? No, no, no. I mean, like the uh, the the couple that we saved on the side of the road coming over yeah. here, and like, go stay at my mom's house. I wonder if they're here. I get a choice. I can either say that Lavitz is actually a cool and good person, or I can, like, just go like, <laughs> and laugh. Uh, what if we just want Dart to be a good person? I think, uh... this game just gets this out of the way at the beginning. Uh, yeah. Except for that it doesn't and it keeps going from this point. Oh, uh, no.
But what if the registers won't let us go past this one line? Uh, we gotta head it off at the pass. We never know. Ooh. I'm sorry, is this like... What is this? Is this all wine or something? No, you wouldn't have that upstairs. This is like books, maybe? You wouldn't have wine upstairs. No, you, you have a, wine goes in a wine cellar. That's why you call it a wine cellar. Well, maybe they just have the wine attic. The wine attic. Yeah. <laughs> gigantic spice rack, maybe? Wine is not confined by the place. The place is confined by the wine. You can have a wine place. Doesn't matter if it is a cellar or not. I only stole 20 bucks. That's good. Right, let's talk to Lavitz. Hey, Lavitz, what's up? Hmm. Well, what should we do? We can either help them, we could practice with our swords, we could take a nap, or we could have Lavitz show me around his house. That's quite a lot of options. Yeah, I know, I'm, right? uh, I'm impressed. Quite a lot of real-sounding options, in fact. <laughs> I'm gonna have... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have, have Lavitz show me around the house. It's hardly being a tour guide, Lavitz. It's just like, go over there. What is this place? Let me tell you all about this thing. Okay, now we get to learn about this. Ah, oh, it is the library. Oh, ah, yes, the, the wine moves. library. The ladder moves. Well, yeah, it's not a uh, foreground object. Yeah, it's not right. You, you can tell that it was a. Uh... Ah, Lavitz will show us his treasure. Let's go up into the attic. the only other thing. <laughs> oh, is that what that is? That's a tiny bird. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a mess of pixels. I wonder what the point is where you try to render a bird and then give up and then just go, look, it's just fucking crap on the screen, okay? <laughs> They'll never be able to tell the difference. No, it's fine. You, no, you, you, you make the bird and it's like, Tear the flesh from my body. Uh... <laughs> this is definitely where he smoked every smoked weed every day as a team. <laughs> I like triangle birds. Anyway, it's time to go to Hoax. Finally. Like, Levitt says to go do stuff at the stores, but we've already done all that, so we can get moving. 
Now, hoax is important, as I'm pretty sure it's where we finally get Dragoon power. Oh, I'm going to check this place out first. Yeah, so far we don't really have a uh, an overarching goal other than the Empire is bad. Yeah, like, and we aren't going to have one for a while other than the Empire. The Empire is bad is, I think, the driving force of all of this one. And then we find out, like, a, a couple things happen at the end of disc one that turn it from the Empire is bad to, like, a specific person is bad. And then we have to go, we we'll spend two discs chasing them. Basically. I'm just saying, that needed to happen a little bit earlier. We already, we already rescued Shauna, so, you know, well, now case we're... closed on our end. Oh. <laughs> the person ran directly into us, oh my god. <laughs> Thanks, person. <coughs> Dart and Lavitz just immediately start checking their pockets. <laughs> yeah, say, that's, that's what I just did. Anyway, let's go to Hoax. So Hoax is just to the west here. So another a thing I mentioned about the battle system, but I really want to bring up here because it, it continues to be a kind of a thing with it, is, uh, I guess we'll see it after we finish this fight, um, against Ugly Balloon. <laughs> Oh, did I not stay in an inn? Oh, I should go do that. Okay, so... I'm gonna get experience from this fight. I get 10 experience, alright? Okay. My characters right now, Dart is at 462, Levis is at 427, and Sean is at 437. I'm gonna hit A. They each got 3 experience. Not only does it split experience between the party, it rounds down. Ah, that's the best kind of it, experience curve. Effectively, what this means is that this game is, uh, like, grinding in this game is nearly impossible. It is, is either impossible or incredibly time-consuming, or you fight these birds that I just ran into. Wow, that's, uh, timely. Um... Thanks, birds. These are, like, yellow birds, and these different birds like this are the, like, metal slime of the game. Oop, we hit for one. That's actually really good. Yeah, and people not in the party get half of that. Again, rounded down. Yes. Nope. You also know if you miss, because it doesn't bring up the, uh, command menu. Like, or the, it doesn't do the, the, the square. I don't think Shauna can miss. That might be your thing. Um, uh, does it have elemental defenses out the ass, or can you chuck items yes. at it? Oh, uh, it's immune to those. Okay. Uh, it's immune to all but one specific item. Okay, it only has one HP left. Come on. Yeah, yellow. It's at red now, so it should die to this. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Ah, oh, nope. Shauna. On. Nope. How often does it run away? Uh, now. Uh, it's, about, it's about one in three, I think. Half of the total XP gained, or half of what one character receives? Half of what one character receives? It's it's quite bad. Again, leveling is is, is uh very very difficult. The only like really, you're only actually getting levels from uh from bosses. Yeah, I reminded the bird that it could run away. I apologize. <laughs> you said it, and then the bird's like, wait, I can leave? <laughs> I'm out of here. So yeah, Shauna isn't even, like, full uh, able to win that fight. Uh, I don't know, the end was just down there. So yeah, the leveling in this game is quite a, a pain if, if that's something that you need. So 
Yes. Yellow birds and the, the OO parts, yeah. The, those are definitely real. On the other hand, if you really like low-level runs, this just might be the game for you. Well, what it means is that this game is a lot more like Chrono Cross in that. Like, Chrono Cross, like, you, you don't have a level system, but after you beat bosses, you get, like, stats. So, it's much more... Yeah, like Chrono that. Cross was a... Yeah, just, like, a little bit of a stat gain and then a hard gate until the next boss. Right. right. I'm glad that bird... Uh, Trying to level Mario for additions. Yeah. <sighs> I I like using Mario, and I probably will in this. I actually am probably going to I'm going to try to use uh, the. This is basically by the end game there is a correct party, <laughs> but yeah, I'm much farther off. You have seven party members, but like only two or three of them are really like the ones you want in your party, like, obviously. So, so the Chrono Cross analogy, the correct party would be Surge, Pip, and Fargo, right? Well, obviously. Yes. Tesh. Go. Yeah. Shauna... Shauna not having additions is a gigantic problem. Like, she's supposed to be, like, a, sort of a mage to make up for it, but because she doesn't have addition, she can't build bar fast enough. Is the problem I have with her. Her dragon stuff is very good, though. Also, isn't MP constraint in this game, like, really fucking strict? Yeah, we all have zero, and we have MP. Like, again, I'll be able to show that when we get MP, but yeah, basically. There are two different monster types in this world, blobs and birds. I mean, people say that this game really wanted to be Final Fantasy VII, but I'm not seeing it apart from the unintentionally hilarious stilted dialogue in the LEGO people. <laughs> anyway, here's Hoax. It's basically a small fort. Yeah, Fort Town. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the fight where the, the place we're going to be getting our uh, Dragoon in, which is nice. Again, that's I I keep bringing it up even though it's supposed to be like a secret that we're supposed to be getting that at the end of this, um, because it's the the mechan the other mechanic the game has. Also, you really want to be able to get this just so that you can start making the combat even slightly more interesting. Mm, I hear that Sandora not only has a dragon, but also has one of the legendary Gigantos. Like, if you keep saying it enough times, then eventually it has to be true, right? That Gigantos looks super tough! Now the defense for my house is perfect. Yeah, this is definitely a lot more like, yeah, generic fantasy, though it's, it, it definitely has its own... This is not, like, generic fantasy and, like, ah, oh, dwarves, elves, uh, that sort of thing, but it is, like, medieval fantasy, I would say, is, like, the setting. But it definitely has its own quite unique spin on it. Again, once we get into, like, the later stuff. Like, Wingleys alone, but... I mean... Final Fantasy IV was also a medieval setting until you got to the futuristic stuff in the moon people. <laughs> yeah. It was a it was a medieval fantasy right up until you flew the airship to the Tower of Zod and you're like, what? I'm gonna stand by that I think this has more unique takes on things than just be, than that is that can't just be summed up by generic fantasy. Especially when we get to the wingly stuff later. Look, you're not wrong. <laughs> this is certainly unique, and it is keeping my interest peaked. <laughs> Hoax and the seventh fort in the marshland. Uh, oop, I see a chest. Oh, give me that chest. 
Am I almost out of... Well, even if it is alive, we can't see it. It'll be invisible, so... That's bad, actually? Wait. Did we actually uh, specify whether or not the invisibility was uh, independent of the death and extinction? No. Maybe the dragons just were always invisible. There are two notes. I'm... I'm just trying to get the ones that I can recall. I'm not 100% hunting the Stardusts. It's good to know, though, that there's two. Yeah, box. Also, I guess we're going by the definition of extinction that allows for maybe, like, one or two members of the species to be still around. Because we had the stick bug dragon in the beginning. Yeah. It's a running joke, everybody just assumes that Dart and Sean are together, and they just roll with it every time, because it's the running joke. I honestly don't know why they keep coming back to this joke when Levitt's and Dart's relationship could <laughs> not twist your arm any harder. I mean, really? I know. Look at all the chemistry there, go for... Th whatever. Get at least 30? Okay. That's, that's worth... Brother Dole. So we get to we get to we we find out a bit of the history behind the uh, the war there. Mm hmm. Uh, Dole and Carlo. <laughs> My name isn't low fantasy enough. Put an O next to it. You can see the door is barred shut with like four, three or four uh, wooden planks there. She's just like, yep, I sure am in my house. I don't know how I'm getting out. I just rock back and forth all the time. Um, up here. Maybe she gets out through the top window like we do. Yeah, she just gets out of her. She's just in that chair, like to relax. She she doesn't need it. Uh, like, oh, and then she just like stands up and starts doing kung fu moves. <laughs> she's basically the landlady from Kung Fu Hustle. Yeah. 20 disc 1, 15 disc 2. Yeah, I knew disc 4 basically had no uh, Stardusts. That's just like. That's a side effect of how disc 4 works. Anyway, let's go talk to our. Uh, to Kaiser. Yeah, as it turns out, the Stardust actually takes up 500 megs on the disc, so they have to cut it out for the fourth one. Are they invincible? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is an early JRPG. Everything's missable. Like, incredibly. If you're on disc four, you don't think you can get, like, most of them. Ah, you're the famous guy who rescued Levitz. I mean, sure, he could cheat 50 Stardust into his inventory right now, but at least it, at least he's got to try. Yeah. <sighs> and now let's just go around the town and talk to guards. Heck, 
So there's one thing that's extremely missable on disc one that it's not permanently missable, but it basically makes a character unusable. All right. All right. If you don't get it, it flattened like it's it's unusable. Um, like they're they they as a character it sucks. Um, if you miss it on I think disc one or early disc two, I don't think you can get it until disc four. Is it a Dragoon uh, J.O. crystal like everyone has? Yes. Is, like, one of them optional? Yes. Wow. One of them for a character is missable. Or is, is, is like, missable early, and then, like, you're just... This war is the trial from a god. Dragoon forms are definitely overrated. Uh, oh, hell, this person even knows. Yeah, the Gigantos. His name is Kongle. We'll be meeting uh, them soon, I'm sure. Hmm. You sure it's not that giant Dragon Quest ass motherfucker we found in the Helena prison? No, it's not that. Uh. Start to this guard. Here I want to talk to. Wow, you have to backtrack a whole disc in order to get to it, man. The developers of Legend of Dragoon really were ahead of their time. They would have the technology to go back in order to another disc. It's funny because, like, like okay, so with, especially with that character's Dragoon form, it is a bit silly because it's like you don't have a Dragoon form, but also that character's Dragoon form is kind of awful anyway. Like. <laughs> 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 like at least for for um for for spells because I'm pretty sure their uh like magic is just absolute garbo. I think they are the, the weakest magic user if I'm remembering stats right. Or are you just talking about the, 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 like, normal attack that you do when you do the transformation? Well, yeah, there, yeah, there are attacks that, yeah, don't, I remember, there, when, on disc three and four, there's a couple enemies that will, like, actually murder you, for, like, uh, they're basically like Seymour. Uh, uh Banish Aeons, gotcha. Yeah, ba Banish Aeons. Uh, they will, they will just, you, you, you lose for choosing to use your Dragoon form. They call it you out. You lose like. for choosing to use the quintessential titular power of the game. Yes. That is important to the plot. It's it's a specific... It, it's like three specific fights I can think of that do it. And they All of them at least are like... The entire point of the fights is like, you know that that's going to happen, but like... It sucks. <laughs> yeah. I guess that happened, too, in Final Fantasy X. Aeons were important to the plot. Right. I am here to replace you. You can trust us. And the soldier's just like, alright, person in red armor. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, anything that'll get me on break faster. Okay, that, yeah... That one character does have the worst. Okay, that's what I thought, was that that character was just flat the worst at, like... Mm. Mm. Ah. Nocturnal owls are hooting. It's proof that nobody's in the forest. So Dart's gonna go grab a beer. Levitz wants a beer too. I don't. I don't think they're going to show you any of those owls because I think they learned their lesson with that bird. Oh, the owl. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we're under attack.
Did you see that arrow? <laughs> Look at these arrows. Oh my god. They're just like bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dive missile ass jank arrows. <laughs> oh goody. <laughs> Alright, anyway, time for battles. Yeah, the basic physics that came with the engine, that's good for arrows, right? <laughs> They're like rocks. I love it. Right, anyway, we're, we're <laughs> fighting some soldiers. Okay, I will try to give them a little bit of credit where credit is due. Maybe they were trying to make it so, like, this whole place is made out of stone and so the arrows would bounce off. Yeah, well, Just bounce? not that way. Yeah, one bounced off a dude, though. <laughs> Maybe that dude was made out of stone. You don't know. Uh, yes, this is another city that's burning down. Welcome. Go! Anyway, we have we have these ones dead in just two editions, so Sometimes you need to be reminded that this is a JRPG and they have only one tool of the trade. They're gonna use the hell out of it. Uh, I think we're gonna run out of inventory space pretty quick here. I think I'm at twenty seven or twenty eight now. So I'm gonna guess that inventory space is only a problem because you actually want to hoard potions, but you can't. Well, magic as well uh, and recur re recurring use items by the end of the game you probably have like uh, eight to ten slots in your inventory that are already taken by items you will not get rid of oh a throwback to final fantasy one where you're constantly swamped with those because like certain consumable items like uh are like like they're multi-use and that they they like once for battle Big topics are usually weak. Uh, is there an item box? <laughs> no. Anyway, here's a boss. <laughs> what a move, holy shit. Door and elite. Yes! Go! <laughs> That's quite a move. <laughs> Holy shit, it is Scorpion. I was joking. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm at 11, still so when this guy gets down to half health, he pulls off his helmet, reveals the flaming skull head, and then starts <laughs> spewing fire at you. Lavitz is defending and taking 20 damage, by the way. He also barks like a dog when he gets hit. Barf. I really need to go in and, and see if I can do something about the settings that are, like, causing those flashes when I finish an edition. I think that's, uh, what they call style. So well, well, that's not, that's not, like, part of the game. That's not like the emulation. You took 40 from that shot. Yes! Go! Volcano! Oh, no. I think the I think the best effects are the ones that they didn't intend to look as stupid anyway, as they do. Here's here's half elf. Can you think? <laughs> Which one is the real one? Oh, uh, robe? Okay, well, you're not fighting him under a full moon, so you're fucked because you can't have the shadow. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
Yeah, that one's the real one there, so. Um, is there animation lag or uh, shadow size difference? I think or... it's shadow size difference. Alright. Makes sense. It might that might have been a luck as well. We'll see. Anyway, we get a free round of hits on him because of that. He like passes the turn. I mean to be fair, Kekleta and the uh, Mario and Luigi superstar didn't really have a tell when she did this either. Yeah. I'm thinking of freaking Windigo. Yeah, it is shadow size, because the one on the right now has a... I, I think the one on the right's the real one, because that has a bigger shadow. So Unfortunately, by that point, we didn't need to really care too hard about Windigo unless you got rolled bad jobs for him. Yeah. Yep. That was it. So yeah, the shadow is slightly bigger on the re on the real one. So Ooh, several years breeze. ago, oh, oh, so um, you know, I just got two hundred experience for fighting that fight. Um, guess who's not in the party right now? Do we care? Not really. So fun fact: several years ago, I uh, I watched a YouTube video of this boss fight. This was basically my introduction to the game and I couldn't stop fucking laughing. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here we go. We're fighting uh, Kongle, the Gigantos. And now we have real boss music. Uh, so let me show that, that item I picked up is uh, Healing Breeze is a party-wide 50% heal. Oh, that's nice. Uh... Heal Levitz. So they have numerical storage for the items in battle, but not outside of battle. Correct. Yeah, the, um, Copper Popper. This is a uh, this is a fight that can is the first like stone wall of the game. If you can't actually do the additions, you're probably not doing enough damage to win the fight. Although it is a. Uh, crash course in the one mechanic that the game has to offer. I'm gonna have Dark Heal. Oh, one other thing. Oh, the counter. Oh. Oh, the counter combo. Oh, the, the one with the when you hit the circle. Is it the one you're talking about? Anyway, uh, one thing I'll note is that when you're hovering over somebody's name, dart, Dart's in red and Lavitz is in green. They're all color coded. Yes. Hey, at least Lavitz's armor isn't green. True. Well, sort of. No, I mean, it's a it's a good way to it's a good way to uh, put him as a like actual knight of some place while still color coding him. Because he's allowed to change the color of his own, like, clothes inside the armor, but yep. this is probably standard military so, issue armor. You know what? Let me let me show this off. Um, uh -huh. He's he's put away his axe. I'm gonna fail this. Crushes the heck out of us. <laughs> that was definitely a wrestler. It's <laughs> ruled. Yeah, Kongle. Kongle's pretty great. And he just 
gives us the clothesline. I'm surprised he doesn't just he doesn't just grab our weapons and then goes on with the clothesline anyway. <laughs> Alright, Kongle's in the red now, so almost down. I need to switch uh, additions on Lavitz here. Oh, we're getting the beatdown. I love that move. Grabs both of you. But yeah, so the reason this will, will can stonewall you is again, if you don't fully hit the addition, he does, then he does the counterattack. So. Spinning <laughs> cane! And then we get cutscene. <laughs> Kongle gives us the one fist up and holding the other over it. <laughs> <laughs> but then... Oh, Dart had a different facial texture for that one. So, uh, we met Rose at the beginning of the game. She saved us from the dragon. Anyway. Levitz is like, damn, why don't I get to do that? <laughs> Say the magic words. Henshin! And then, yeah. Then you get to transform. This is literally a, like a, a, a Super Sentai team. It really, everybody's color coded. You get transformation forms that are all, yeah. So, yeah. We met Rose, though, at the beginning of the game. She saved us from a dragon. So, she can also transform. Anyway, we get Power Wrist. Saint Seiya? Yeah, this is. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is. I haven't thought about Saint Seiya for a long time. I haven't thought about it ever. I I, I need to like anime my uh, animes oh, a bit more. It's an old harder old one. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we get this cool looking armor. Now let me tell you, this armor right here and like this whole form is the reason I bought this game. Like as a, as a as a child, <laughs> because like as a twelve year old like. Like, at 12, 13 year old, I was just like, oh my god, this is the coolest goddamn thing in the world. Look, you get to play as, like, this dude who's got a sword, but also he can use the power of dragons and transform and get wings and he gets this sweet looking armor. And also everybody else has a sweet looking armor, and it's like, oh man. And, and then you have to play it. Right. Well, then I liked it, my boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it rules. <laughs> it does. No, no, we, we can't chase them down. <laughs> just... <laughs> Dart just passes out. <laughs> You know what? I'm with Rose on this one. Yeah. She gave him the sweet ass armor, and this is the thanks she gets. Right. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can go with she saved my life, or she is an important person to me. 
which if I definitely pick that one, we're gonna have another comedy thing where Shauna gets mad at Dart and bops him on the head. That's how it's that's how it's gonna work. It sure will. We'll see how that dumb scene goes. <laughs> okay, it's a lot better than I thought. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Is too fishy to be a coincidence. And why is Rose only wearing one leg covered? That's weird. Oh, we both have these crystals. Yeah, there wasn't enough crystal power in the thing to give her the additional pant leg. Yeah, I guess so. Sort of like how Dart only so, has the one armor. True. Arm. Ooh, one arm and one leg. It's 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 like a, a you know, it's it's parallelism. Uh huh. But yeah, um, so this this thing here, the little dragoon spirit, we we had a, a flashback uh, a while back that this was one of the last things that Dart's father left him. He found it in the town after his father fucking ate it. So. And this is apparently a reason why the Empire wanted Shana so bad, like, because she was a candidate for one of these things. Yeah, something like that. We'll find out more about that in the future. But that's definitely true. Ah, uh, Minister Noish. Yes, because we heard about the, the, the story of the, the humans in the Dragon Campaign. And Rose saved us because we remind her of her old friends. That, that's about it. Thank you for... Thank you, Lucy. Is that noise? <laughs> if I click on that, is it going to be noise? Yeah. <laughs> I clicked on it. it <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I'm <laughs> greatest in that shot. <laughs> I am used to being hated. Oh no, the seventh fort is under attack. <laughs> Alright, so now we have to go to the other fort. Uh and try to do something about the dragon? <laughs> Which we can because we have cool powers. Also, this town has burned the hell down. Yeah, uh, what happened? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Fine. Everything was on fire while we were fighting. We didn't just magic the fire away by transforming and then having pathos. True. You don't put out fire with pathos, you put it out with water. <laughs> Simple. And, and Rose is telling us that we're better than human. We are beyond human. I represent the post-human. Also, uh, Dart right now is looking down, but his head has just gone into his armor. So he's like this, or he's just in a shirt like this. It, it, I mean, I've done that several times when I felt embarrassed. Yeah. Right, I need to show off the in-combat Dragoon, though. This is the third time we're getting the same music. Uh, the, like... Like, yeah, we've got a plan, yeah. You're our last hope. They like the... 
Oh no, Kaiser. I don't know where our plan is, but it sounds cool. Yeah. Well, our plan is we. Yeah. And Rose is going to join us. Basically, because. Because we need a third party member. Yeah. No. Rose. Rose's whole thing is that she is mysterious. And that's that's that is it. Uh, we find out more about her as the game goes on. Ah, the Green Tusk Dragon, Frit Fairebrand. Stares at Lavitz significantly. Yeah. Hmm. Green? Hmm? Green? Eh? Uh, Green? Uh? Green? Green? Hmm. Uh, replace. Um. Shana, please leave. Rose, you're on the team. Okay. Um. And let me check what. Uh... So is it time for more and more? Yeah, it's time for more and more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know it. Uh, let me check additions to see what she starts with. I think she starts with a uh, whip. Yeah, whip smack. So we're not going to. We're, we're not. It's not time for more and more yet. So I'm going to. I'm also going to switch off of spinning cane to uh, rod typhoon. It's four hits instead of two, and it has a higher damage multiplier. It's less SP generation, but Lavitz doesn't give a crap about SP generation yet. Dart, however, now does. Um, Volcano's probably fine for that. So let's get some battles outside of town. Oh, he does have a third edition. How about that? Yeah. And using Spinning Cane for so long. Speaking of which, Dart needs to get one. Dart will get one. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Dart is the messiah of the kingdom of Basil. Oh no, they, they saw our armor and now they're we're a legend. <laughs> uh, I'll have the word salad, Rose. Okay. So this 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 is the tutorial on Dragoon Combat. Glory fight against Rose. Which I'm willing to do because uh this is the this This will let the game explain its little mechanic. I wasn't willing to on the time kits, because time kits are pretty explanatory. mandatory. Mm -hmm. So in order to transform into form into Dragoon, you need to use SP. Um you get that from additions, and it costs so much. We have a we have a bar now. We have a new bar. So. So now we get a number that pops out every time we do a hit on an addition. We get eight SP, eight SP, eight SP, eight SP. With certain um. With certain additions, it'll be either like front loaded or back loaded. Like you know, it, it can be in a different way. For for the SP. But. Ooh, one thing that's actually awkward about this edition right now is that it gives 32. Uh, the reason that's awkward is that SP only matters in numbers of 100. And 3 hits of 32 is 96, not 100. Um, uh, hopefully Rose is patient. Yeah, Rose is definitely patient, and Rose is also invincible. Alright, so now we're, we, have, we have it, so... Also, generating SP is, like, leveling up as well. I don't know if they talk about that, but, like, gaining SP, like, is, is how you get better at being a Dragoon. Anyway, so, a new options opened up. It's this little eyeball over here. Or the little orb, whatever. Or the little, um... What's that thing in Berserk called? Whatever. The... The Hilly? Yeah, the Hilly. That's it. Anyway... So you need a cool transformation. Oops. It's so cool. 
Mode change. It's seriously, it's like the coolest thing. Yeah, no, the loings are erupting out of it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, you, you can, yeah, you can go to the Rosie, but tells you you can go into the menu. Uh, maybe shorter, but we want to. There's so dragoons have two different. Um, oh boy, dragoons have two different types of attacks. Uh, we have MP now. All right. Um, but you have your, your basic attack and magic attack. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we get to see this again. Yep. Okay. So the way this works is that it's a it's a rotation on this little bubble here when we attack when I attack. So. Like, as it goes around, I want to, like, hit X as it hits the top. Oh, that was close. I, I missed the last one. Mm, D attack. Yep. Let me, let me try that again see if I can get a good hit out of that. Whatever. So yeah, that, that's how the that's how the, the the attacks work. But then you have magic, uh, which we'll also get to show off. That's fine. So it's not um, a suite of new dragoon moves so much as it is just like an attack that you can power up in various cycles. Yeah. Like, when you're in Dragoon, that is your only basic attack. You basically don't use it. Because when you're in Dragoon, you usually use it. Hmm. Because as you said, that number was like, like maybe like twice a normal attack, but I had to spend an entire bar of SP to do it. So, yeah. So, yep, spells cost MP. MP is based on your Dragoon level, and that's it. Like, that's the only thing that does MP usage. Um, you, I, you do not spend a turn to transform. You get your, your turn when you transform. And actually, transformation, every turn you spend in Dragoon form spends a bar of SP. Um, once you run out of SP, you just transform back. So, like, it's, <laughs> it's kind of silly. Anyway, here's our magic. Single target, 50%. Okay, so it's not necessarily MP that's the problem. It's just Time. you are on a timer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was 100 damage from that. Anyway, that's the Dragoon form. Um, we'll be using it in battle, uh, as I want to be building up uh, SP as much as possible. Like, it's weird. Yeah, okay, as Rose says here, getting SP by attacking raises your Dragoon level. So, like, the way you level up your Dragoon um, is by gaining SP, and then the more SP you gain, the higher level it goes, which... It's part again. It, it's it's part of the reason why I, I I don't really like Shauna that much, because her she can't get additions later in the game that give massive SP. You keep you you keep uh, SP between fights, yes. So in this game, healing magic is not so much a constant as it is a, a stockpile of bursts that you use. Yeah. Well, healing magic only exists on like healing magic only exists on like two characters. Okay. Like, though, I mean, that's what I was saying. But given yeah. the way that the dragoon system works, yes, there, there's no such thing as heal. Like healing magic is incredibly rare. It's like Shana and I think Meru has a healing move, and then I want to say I want to say Rose has a has like a drain move, but I'm not certain on that. Uh, but yeah, healing is hard to come by. That's why items matter a lot. Wow. 
So, anyway, let's get out of here. That's one warning. Yeah, Astral Drain. Yes. I was, okay, I, my memory was right that, that Rose does have a, have a move like that. Yeah, Shauna has a ton of healing. Oh, look, uh, Hoax is on fire on the, the, the overworld. D uh, that didn't take long. Yeah. Alright, so I did switch uh, Rose in. Uh, no, I oh, freaking switched Rose out. No, I gotta switch Rose back in. Okay. That's fine. Well, you heard the man. Lavitz wants some Thai food. Yeah, give, me the, give me that Thai food. Right, let me quick, uh, again, in the menu here, I can just go to replace, and then I can switch out. Rose, back. Rose also just starts at level 8. Oh, that ugly balloon is back. Bump. <laughs> I'm always thinking about my favorite attack name. Womp. Anyone here actually play this game to completion? Hi! Yes, yes I did. Y yeah, you're looking at him. I, I definitely played this game to completion. Uh, maybe twice? I can't make that claim. Most of my knowledge of this game is a weird mishmash of osmosis and <laughs> bits and pieces of YouTube videos. Fair. Let's enter the marshlands. I think we'll go into the marshlands, and if if it's not too long of a dungeon, we'll do this, and then that'll be like where we do things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at this point, we're trying to hunt down the green tusk dragon. Don't forget the Sig Stone. What am I forgetting? Ooh. I love these birds. Ooh, look at that mushroom. Oh my goodness, look at that mushroom. So we have Sea Dragon and... Uh, let's take out Sea Dragon first. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh, it's a repeat item. Okay, yeah. I'll, tr I'll see if I can find that then. The hell is that running animation? <laughs> so yeah, we build up SP. Ooh, burn out in a purifier. I'm gonna be running again, running out of item spots. So does Rose have like a whip sword or is it a just a rapier? Oh, let me check what her actual equipment says it is. Rapier. My sea dragon's on fire, how about yours? <laughs> Lavitz rules. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the 
Rose can go Dragoon for him next turn. Yeah, she has one bar, so we'll do that. Yes. I think the wiggling is a combination of the uh, PlayStation not having proper anti-aliasing or whatever you call it, and also the fact that you kind of have to hammer home that these are real organic people that these Lego people are representing by having them just wiggle constantly. Rose goes into a black hole and comes out completely armored. The rules. Anyway, so yeah, so you so you transform and then let's just do a normal. <laughs> yeah, we'll be I'll be showing off her spells as well. I, the thing is, like, so uh, SP is not a like. Is, is not, like, that bad of a resource to be using. You kind of want to be using it all the time. MP, though. MP's a little hard. So you, you kind of want to, like... Get out of my way! You don't want to be spending those spells unless you really have to. So. But yeah, I'm completely fine just doing Tribune Transformations for basically no reason. Let's reposition ourselves past you. This is, this is like our gauntlet of fights, if I remember this part right. I also keep missing that final hit on the Dragoon Edition, and it annoys me, but we'll get there. Everybody has. Everybody has. So again, as I as I mentioned, uh, darts additionally even thirty two is actually a pretty big downside right here. So am I wrong in remembering that Lavitz has some of the uh, uh, some of the trickier, more complicated additions? Herschel has the Herschel uh, the. the well, a later character has the most, by far, if, if I'm remembering right. But no, Lav okay. Lavitz definitely is up there as well. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, sure that... Uh, yeah, there's, there's a later character we haven't met yet, who I think has the ones that have the trickiest uh, timings to them. All because right. there's some little off. But yeah, Lavitz's are definitely like some of the later ones. The thing is, with some of the later ones, they're, they're like, long. Like, that one already is four. Pretty step. Ooh, like plenty yeah. Of pretty step's pretty bad. Yeah. That's... That, that, that's... Anyway, Sun Rhapsody is a new item. Uh, if I can get to it. It's a full MP recover. So, For one person or the party? Uh, I think it's single target. Pretty sure it's single. Uh, that's still pretty great. Yeah, single target. Anyway, let's, let's go to the form. Let's mess him up. Yeah, I'm starting to see why you don't have nearly enough room in your inventory for all this. Well, the biggest thing is that, again, healing is only in Dragoon form and only for a couple characters, so, like, you need healing items. Also, castable items are real. They help you prevent MP loss. You need MP recovery. You can get it. I think I'm going early on that last one. 31 damage. And then I transform out of Dragoon. I think that's it. So, because I've used my one bar, I am no longer in Dragoon form. Witness the legendary power of the Dragoon! 31 damage. Right. Oh. Which is actually, I think, one less than Volcano's full combo. So, yeah. Oh! oh that was... That was tricksy. I didn't think they were going to counter on the third attack. They countered on the third round. So. Oh, sweet. Volcano's up to 36 points now. Nice. Yeah, an extremely fast chain like that with counters in it. Ugh. Uh, yeah, you, you have boosted stats in, in Dragoon form. Um, also in Dragoon form... Well, okay, here's one thing about Dragoon form. So you're going to have multiple bars later. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you all have two bars of SP or three or four bars. You get up to five. Um, 
when you go into Dragoon form, there's no button that lets you exit. You're in Dragoon form for as long as you have the bars. So you either gotta know that you're killing when you're killing them, or just, you know... Well, it means that there are certain, like, you don't, like, if you put your entire party in Dragoon form, item isn't the command in Dragoon form. Yeah, so you gotta be careful. <laughs> in Dragoon, you only have two commands on your bar. I think the zoo is articulating this a little bit better than I am. Yeah, I know. I'm seriously, I'm gonna get that final edition. So, one thing about the Dragoon editions is that, like, so you see how that had, like, one, two, three, four hits? That's based on how many hit, like times you, you hit it as it goes around that little bar. Um, right. The animation abruptly stops after like whatever hit is the last hit. Like, so it does that whole normal animation of like fly in, attack, 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 attack. But like if you only get two attacks, you like fly in, attack, attack, and then like you bounce off and then just stop in midair, and it's really jarring. <laughs> It's like you're flying and then right in the middle of your combo, Dart suddenly realizes what the last item on his grocery list was. Holy shit, stop that. Dart's uh. getting owned by elemental magic. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> is that what that's called? Yeah. <laughs> it just looks like some dude throwing needles in from off screen. Yep, that's that's Ice needles or whatever. Alright, I think there's only one more fight in this area, and then we, we've cleared out the fort. But then we get two items. There's two boxes for us. Hmm. Any plans on final editions? Not this early, no. I, I know what my final cast is gonna be, if, if that's... If that's... I, I can at least answer that one. So, the party we have here, actually, is one of the best endgame parties. Uh, Levitz, Rose, and, and Dart are effectively, like, like one of the, the best parties you can have. Specifically, it's because Levitz has a very powerful Dragoon magic that nobody else gets and is just, like just flat one of the best abilities in the game. Uh-huh. Am I planning to get final editions? For certain characters, I might. Nope. I... Too late on that one. And, oh, we'll get to see the abrupt stop. That's the one. That's the abrupt stop that I keep thinking of, where, where darts <laughs> pulls back, and then... <laughs> bam, bam. What was I doing? Oh. I might get I, I might get final editions. I know it's a lot of like there's a lot of grinding to getting the final editions, so like that. Mm. Eh, we'll see. Oh, thank God they didn't go for ice needles. Yeah, I was about to say nice job on that counter. Yeah. Anyway, this is this is. By the way, at this point, I've I've showed off all of the mechanics of the game. Has. Yep, this is gonna be it for the rest of the game. Ooh, and now the boss. I do appreciate that they let you back off at every single incursion. Yep. Yeah, this there 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 really aren't more like mechanics than this as far as like. There, there's you know, additional characters, there's some elemental stuff, actually, that we haven't touched on. But... We've seen kind of the effects of that. Yes. 
soldier. Yeah, I remember this guy. <laughs> He's just like he, like the Golbez look-alike that just got owned immediately, and you oh. thought he was important because he had an FMV. Right, that dude at the beginning of the game. All right, so many of Dragoon. I'm gonna use Dragoon magic here. I think. For Rose. That'll be worth doing on the boss. I can see leveling addition by using addition is gonna be one of the most irritating things that you can do. So, Astral Drain. Uh, dark Strength, 25%, single and HP. Astral Drain kind of rules. So it, it, it is a full one-to-one -one drain. Uh, I did 48 damage there and I gained 48 health, but it's split three ways. Oh, it is nice that they split it. They have to split it, but it is, it is split. It's yeah. health. It's something. Uh, do you have yeah. three people in your party? You, yeah, you, you just have three people in your party. That's how it works. Like, um, Lost Odyssey had a similar mechanic where you had an ability that uh, allowed any HP absorption that you did to be split among the party, except MP absorption didn't get split. It was just like however much MP you drained was given to the entire party. Yep. This led to all sorts of ridiculous bullshit by the end. Yeah. All right, so we're going to have... We're going to do our, our flame shot. <laughs> so we're going to do the flame shot. We may do the half health, so... So, was this Sony trying to compete with Square Enix, or is it the Western branch of Sony trying to compete with Square Enix? I don't know. I know it was Sony, obviously. Uh huh. Anyway, that hits for decent damage. And then, whoop. so we don't actually even get to see like the, the effects of like defensive effects of, of being a dragoon. Um, because it doesn't matter this early. Anyway, Commander's dead. <laughs> Flame and shot. Ooh, the attack ball. And we got a level for that. There we go, Burning Rush, new edition. Alright. So uh, we now, finally... We're, now we're finally. here. I have, to, I have to decide on certain items to get rid of. Oh dear. We are full up. Uh, what really sucks is that none of these are particularly no-brainers. Oh, right. Um, You can't open chests when you're full on items. It doesn't even give you the menu. You just can't do it. So, uh, hold on. I have to empty some slots. Let's just use some healing potions. Sun Rhapsody. That's fine. Sun Rhapsody is pretty good. It's great how I don't even have game audio, and yet, as soon as you go into the menu, doo -doo -doo. the menu music just comes on like clockwork doo -doo. in my dome. Doo -doo. <laughs> Alright, so here's we got this here. Another Sun Rhapsody. I don't actually want to have too many Sun Rhapsodies. They're nice to have. But they're not like full up again. I'm full up again, damn it. Yeah, 32 to 32. Um, 
Let's get rid of some of the shitty attack items. So I think last time you mentioned there was a uh, there was a dragoon ratio, and if you made the number too high, it would kill you or something. Hmm? Oh, that's a different game. Oh, <laughs> that is okay. that is that is, that is uh... it, it wouldn't be out of this game's kilter, is what I'm saying. Quarter glance. That is a uh, Breath of Fire uh, Dragon Quarter. Dragon Quarter is a game I should play. I think I have it somewhere, I just never got around to doing it. Using the stick here is uh, dangerous because it's not L and R that go there, it's left and right that go to different menus. Anyway, the lance is huge, it's a plus uh, 15 attack upgrade. Wait, have you gotten anything for Lavitz up to that point? Uh, no. <laughs> playing Legend of L G Dragoon, but when are you playing Legend of Ligaya? Legend of Ligaya was another game I played the heck out of like, as a a, 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 a a teen. Like, same time period as this. Um, I picked it up at the same time I picked up um, FF9, so I was really confused and thought that every, every game in the world just really liked using Mist as a plot point. <laughs> <laughs> Revenge upon them. Uh, Doesn't inspire a lot of confidence when you say, I will wreck your revenge. Don't you worry, dying man. Rest assured, I will fuck it up and die right alongside you in the next five minutes. Spirit potion. That's that one. Oh, I have to get a list for it instead. Oop. I really should give up on the, uh... Oh, that's just recover 100 SP. Okay. Mm. It looks the same age as me. There is no ally or enemy for the dead. Please rest in peace. Is, is hey found a stardust nice this place is is completely wrecked up like this isn't quite as constricting as say uh, secret of mana was with its uh, writing given all the shit that they had to cut in order to make it fit on the cart but mm. I, I don't know this still has some problems with the writing <laughs> <laughs> Constriction is only one of the pieces of the puzzle here. Alright, so I got a new. Oh, I need to put that new edition on. I think we're finally gonna say goodbye to Volcano. Which is sad, because Volcano is the one I used for, the long, for a long time in playing this game. Also, we're only getting more and more. <laughs> <laughs> Ice Needle from Dart! Uh, cut that out. It's like elemental weakness. That's garbage. Oh, that's a thing? Yes. One of the one of the hardest fights in the game uh, is on disc 2 when you run into uh, a person who controls water because your main character just gets absolutely demolished by them. <laughs> Like that, that is like that fight is one of the hardest fights I can remember in the game. Both the first fight against them and the second fight at the end of the disc. That's in like the Western Kingdom, and I whose name I forget. All right. I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, leave this place, save, and then call it a stream for now. I'd say the first one's harder as well. The second one, you have more options, and you're a little more powerful, and it's not as, like, ridiculously scaled. 
But the first one is like a, a, one of the fights in the game I think it was the hardest. Just for that. <laughs> Tiberia. Yeah, okay. Yep, that's it. It has been a good 15 years since I've played this, so names, names have not stuck. So thank you for, for, for that. Alright, let's quick switch editions and see what we have for new editions. So basically the best way to farm editions is to find dudes that you know won't counter any of your crazy five taps a second mechanics. Yep. Yeah. Burning Rush. Hmm. So Burning Rush right now, again, so this is one of the things about additions that mean that makes it difficult to want to switch off of them. Like Volcano's Master is is close to ma to to max here as far as like uh like the ninety nine uses it's it's max level, it's, and its damage just outstrips switching additions. So to switch additions, I have to take a hundred a, a full like hundred percent damage decrease off of that. Yeah, I can see the problem with this system because you're constantly penalizing yourself for moving up. Yeah, so I have to take a forty percent damage like down. Look at that bird. Let's see, let's, let's let's step outside. Uh, we'll, we'll step outside here, and we'll probably get in a fight on the way out, and we'll show off a new edition and such. So, but yeah, so it means that switching is like it's hard to be like, oh, I want to switch because like you're taking a you know big dip in your damage for a while until you until you hit the edition like probably level two or three levels. I mean, it's not just that. It's the fact that you have to do it seven times for each character. Ooh, yeah. There's a yeah. There's a, there's an enemy that has like, like yeah, physical damage zero. <laughs> sort of like in Vesperia, where they have uh, skills that turn off your damage on purpose, so that you can like master stuff. Yep. Damage. Well, that's so you can like you basically so you can combo exhibition in that game. Right. Yes. Yeah, because you have death blows and stuff. Yep. Right. Anyway, let's let's head out of here and then we can Yeah, Rose doesn't get many additions. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and save and call that a stream for now. That was good. That I got to, good. I got to show off the other mechanic of the game. You did manage to get to Dragoon, yes. So. We have four Stardust. Alright, so thank you, thank you, V Prisoner, for, for joining on this. Sure. Uh, thank you, everybody in the in the zoo. Hope you all had a fun time with this. I'm, again, uh, thanks to Squirrel Token on Patreon for this, for making this one happen. I'm going to keep doing this one. It's not going to be, like, within the next couple weeks, but we're going to keep... This is going to be one that'll keep going. I'll let you know when it's going to happen. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, or uh, more card stuff, or other uh, platformer things, that's basically the three things I do. Uh, you can go ahead and follow, and that'll be cool. Yeah, there'll be more Legend of Dragoon in the future. It's going to be a little while, but there will be more in the future. So, anyway. Thank you all for joining. Uh, have a good night, everybody. Alright, take it easy.